wow, winter's finally here. It's cold out today. We got kind of a wintery mix coming, but uh, still got to get the chores done. Luckily, the uh, water systems aren't frozen up yet. <laughs> Yeah, the quail are out of water, but I'm not going to fill up their water jug because it's, like I said, a wintry mix coming tonight. We've got freezing temperatures, so I'll just bring some water out to them and feed them in, so, or water them in some bowls today, and they'll, they'll be fine. So anyway, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And, you know, I've gotten a lot of questions lately about egg storage. How long can you expect your legs, eggs to last? How should you store them? All those kinds of things. So I thought I'd address that in a video today. Let me start off by saying, you know, when that question comes to me, I don't know if you're talking about incubating eggs or eating eggs. So we'll address both. Incubating eggs is pretty simple. Um, if you want to incubate eggs and you've got fertile eggs that you want to store for incubation, like you want to store them up to gather enough eggs, it, it's about seven days. You can store them for about seven days, seven to ten, before the fertility really starts to drop off and you start expecting it to affect your hatch rate. You want to store them somewhere between about 50 degrees Fahrenheit and about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Too much over 70 degrees Fahrenheit, they start to develop and you know it's not ideal situation so they'll probably die so you probably won't get good hatch rates out of that. Too much below 50 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, the cold temperatures can really affect them and, and kill the embryos before they ever start to develop. So you won't get good hatch rates that way. So what, you, know, I mean, you could store them on the counter if your house is cool enough, but what I typically do is put them in a cooler with one of those little um, freezer packs. You stick in the freezer and freeze, stick them in a cooler, um, set them on a mason jar so they set in an angle like this, and you do want to turn them. So what I do is I just set it on a mason jar like this, and then about twice a day, I just reverse the angle. So put the mason jar on the other side, set them leaning like this, and then the next time they're leaning like this. Hopefully that makes sense. That's all you need to do once or twice a day, turn them a little bit so the eggs don't settle, or the yolks don't settle to one side, stick to the shell, anything like that, and uh, you're good to go with, with uh, hatching eggs. That's all you have to do as far as sto uh, storing them. Now one other thing I do is I, I use a, uh, a Listerine, regular gold Listerine mixed 50% with water. You could use hydrogen oxide, hydrogen peroxide mixed 50% with water. You could use rubbing alcohol mixed 50% with water. And just mist the eggs down as you store them. That will help keep the uh, bacteria off of them. Do not wash them. And that really goes for whether you're going to be storing them for hatching or whether you're going to be storing them for, for eating. Do not wash your age, eggs prior to storing them. In fact, hatching eggs, never wash them. There is a bloom, a natural bloom on an eggshell that prevents bacteria from getting inside. And if you wash the eggs, you wash that off. And what I mean by washing is running them underwater and scrubbing them. You don't want to do that. Um, what, again, whether it's going to be for incubating, whether it's going to be for eating, either way, you don't want to wash them. All right, so that pretty much addresses, I've done videos on storing your eggs for hatching. I've got a whole series on hatching eggs. If you're looking to improve your hatch rate, check it out. I'll put a link up here or Maybe it's on this side. I can't ever remember which side it's on, but there'll be a link up there where you can click on that video series. Go watch those series. It goes into a lot more detail about storing your eggs, incubating your eggs, all those kinds of things, and uh, gets really good results from your, your hatches, hopefully. So if you're having problems hatching eggs, not getting good results, go check out that video series. Hopefully it'll help you out a little bit. All right, so uh, collecting eggs for eating today. Put it in my pocket. Hopefully I don't forget it later. Let's talk about how you store your eggs for eating. How long should you expect them to last? Honestly, it, it varies a lot. I mean, there, 
There's a lot of factors that go into how long an egg will last. Probably one of the main ones is the humidity levels in the air that you're in. So in the summertime here, it's pretty humid. Eggs will last a little bit longer. In the wintertime, it's pretty dry. Eggs don't last as long. And that's because the uh, moisture inside the egg tends to evaporate over time. And the drier your air is, the faster that's going to evaporate, make your eggs go bad. Now there are some other factors into why, you know, whether your eggs can go bad. Again, do not wash your eggs first. If you wash them, then you open them up to more bacteria and they could spoil and go bad a lot quicker. Now as far as storing your eggs for eating, um, you can store them in the refrigerator. I just put them in a bowl and stick them in the refrigerator. My eggs are fertile eggs, so I don't leave them out on the counter. But you can leave eggs out on the counter. They will last an amazingly long time out on the counter, assuming they haven't been washed. And again, don't wash them before you store them. Wash them before you eat them. That's all you have to worry about. Uh, but they will last a very long time sitting on the counter, in weeks or probably even a month, honestly. Um, in the refrigerator, it's about the same thing. I put mine in the refrigerator because, you know, sometimes my house is a little bit warmer than 70 degrees and I don't want the eggs to start to develop. So putting them in the refrigerator keeps that from happening, does help them keep just a little bit longer. Um, but, you know, usually I can get about 30 days out of eggs at least, sometimes quite a bit longer uh, before the eggs go bad. It's very easy to tell whether an egg is bad or not. You've got to wash the eggs before you eat them anyway, or you're going to probably. So what I do is get a bowl, put some water in it, put some eggs inside that bowl of water, and if they float, they're bad, throw them out. If they sink, they're good. Go ahead and use them. That's, it's pretty simple. And again, they'll last 30 days, probably even 60 days in most cases. Um, it just depends on a lot of different factors in there. But you get pretty long storage out of eggs. There's not really much you have to do. Uh, they are you know, pretty miraculous how long they last. So anyway, just a quick topic I wanted to go to address. I got a lot of questions about it lately, so I thought I'd get it addressed in a video for everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, God bless.